is an exhibition of paintings and prints of my work, and I'll talk about them more as we go through. This is an original painting over here. And this is St. Thomas's Hospital in Lambeth. And the painting starts for lots of different reasons, I think. One of the first reasons is there's a personal connection. Okay, so with this painting, this is my son and my little daughter is my little daughter's up, up there too. And I'm sketching, and there's my wife. She's with our little baby there. And this is this is where the kids were born. So that's one of the reasons why a painting begins, because of a personal connection. It could also be a place that I've known all my life. It could be a particular building that I know really well. It could be the light that I'm seeing out there um, in the street that, that attracts me to it. So I began painting this painting in 2016, okay? And I've been at the hospital, I had a couple of operations and uh, I'd seen all the people going past and I thought why haven't I painted a hospital before I thought about a painting that I particularly liked which is a painting by Lowry and it's called Cripples from 1949 okay and it's the innocence of Lowry's work that I really love it really appeals to me that word innocence obviously applying to the title of the show the innocence of, of the people that I'm seeing and then it became more about the actual place as well and I was really interested in this figure of the nurse and I started to think about a lot of the Renaissance paintings that I look, look at. And it reminded me very much of this painting by Gentile Fabriano, this detail. And I began to think of this fountain as a kind of halo above the nurse's head. Okay, so it's about the reverence and the care at the hospital that I've received. Um, and then over time, I was investigating the, the actual meaning of this sculpture in the middle and it's by the constructivist artist Naum Garbo and it's got the title torsion so that's the title of the painting down here and that word torsion means to break something to twist it until it ruptures so the painting kind of became about the junior doctors protesting back then and they're still protesting it became about the health service it became a much bigger thing than all of the ideas that I'd had initially about making a painting just about a hospital. And that's what happens. You start with an intention to make a painting and then it takes on a new meaning. So you've got the whole theater of life here from the beginnings of people right to the end over here where people might end up. And this man here had overheard a conversation and he said he was worried that he might not hear Big Ben again in his lifetime. And that becomes more poignant because I finished the painting just as COVID was happening. So here's a mask and it's broken. I finished the painting in the 72nd year of the health service. There's a little balloon there with 72 on it. The statue was built in 1972. The fountain was built in 1972. That was the year of my birth. So again, it's about beginnings. There's one glove down here. Just one glove because there wasn't enough. And if you remember the clap for carers, we're all clapping, you know, we're all out clapping for people. And so there's only one glove because you can't clap with one hand. Okay, so that's this painting here, Torsion. And it's also called Huck Funt. Because Jeremy Hunt was the health secretary at the time. The future's been sold Every night we're gone And some karaoke songs How we like to sing along Though the words are wrong